hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's going on if you're not what's poppin family thank you so much for keeping up with me on today's vlog we are at the muladala city open in washington dc it is an outdoor tennis tournament with lots of little vendors and activities to do here we are with one of the many drink vendors i believe this was a gin and tonic with a blueberry puree mixed drink it was perfect for the occasion it was so refreshing and the samples are great we continued making our journey through the tournament we passed by a few practice courts before spotting the famous andy murray can we just take a second to admire the calves on this man honestly no the calves on all of these tennis players is actually insane honestly how many years of tennis does it take to get calves like that because i'm asking for myself <laughs> we continued on our journey past the players compound and that's just where the players warm up and kind of hang out before or after their set next to the players compound was the market square which also had a bunch of practice courts that's why i literally i was like could they fly through here after watching some of the players practice we were starving so we made it into the marketplace they had a lot of food options but i settled on a chicken sandwich from roaming rooster and a full size of that beverage that you guys saw earlier can we just take a second to admire my good sis like i tried not to choke and gag on my food because she was so good like are you joking after being fed in full, we continued throughout the tournament and we found the girlies court. They were killing it per usual. The court besides the girlies had these guys going and I don't know who this man is, but his calves and his face were amazing. No, seriously, I need to find out who this guy was because he was mm, literally a chef's kiss. We found ourselves nearing the entrance of the main court, so we stopped by the Ciroc table. They were sampling this new honeydew vodka, which was so good. You know, I understand these drinks were curated just for this tennis tournament, but honestly, shout out to them. Like 10 out of 10 on coming up with the menu. The first major match of the afternoon was between Mackenzie McDonald of USA, specifically DC, and Gregor Dimitrov of Bulgaria. I hope I'm not butchering his name. It wasn't the longest match, nor was it the shortest match, but Gregor took away with the win for Bulgaria. Intermission, we stopped to get some ice cream, which was absolutely delicious, and we made it just in time to watch Karolina Pliskova of Czech Republic against Haley Baptiste of USA, more specifically Washington, D.C. Per usual, the girlies put on a show, but my girl Haley Baptiste took the dub and brought it, well, not brought it home, because we're already home, but yeah, my girl Haley took the W. Yay, Let's talk a bit about the match. She come out 6-1, then she flips the switch. She's former number one in the world. It looks like she took complete control, but you said, whoa, wait a minute. How did you turn things around today? Um, I kind of just went back to the first set. Uh, I think a little bit in the second set, I was a little slow, so I picked it up a little bit and tried to do more of what I did in the first, be a little bit more aggressive, and I think that really helped me. It was a long break between matches on the main court, so we walked around and spotted Taylor Fritz on one of the practice courts. We watched him practice for a bit and then made our way to the doubles court to watch them boys, Ben Shelton and Mackenzie McDonald. They were up against Talon Griekspor and Alexander Bublik, who were truthfully giving them a run for their money. Oh, 
this match was actually so entertaining and pressure filled like look at them boys over there plotting and scheming as to how to win like <laughs> Like, they are really them boys, I'm telling you. No, like, they had everyone on their toes. Like, I've never been more entertained by a tennis match. Like, the speed, the agility, the athleticism, like, all of these men are so good. And just like that, another W by the home team. It was then time for the match of the day, which coincidentally happened to be the last match of the day against Aslan Karasev of Russia and Francis Tiafo of USA, more specifically Washington DC. <laughs> Big Bo's obviously my favorite player if you cannot tell. He is so loved in DC and it was so apparent during this match. Like no one was cheering for Aslan. I felt so bad. Like anytime he messed up on a serve, anytime he made a mistake, anytime he couldn't run fast enough to get the ball, the fans were going absolutely insane. Like talk about strong mental health and mental capacity because I would have lost it. Like the way everyone, everyone was against him absolutely insane you know i tried to cheer for him here and there and give him some support but then everyone was looking at me like i was the ops so i had to just keep it cute and mute and just cheer for francis but honestly aslan 10 out of 10 you've inspired me to ignore all the haters regardless of francis having all the love in there aslan was a whooping ass and taking numbers okay like this match was so heated and wow Like, do you guys see what I mean? A standing ovation and the match isn't even over. It's like halftime or whatever the equivalent to halftime is. <laughs> no, Aslan said brick by brick, okay? Point by point, you gonna see me. The amount of times this little screen kept popping up to measure how closely in or out these men were getting, like this game was so intense. Baby, the measurements were accurate, okay? And it was time for the match point and everyone started going crazy. Just like that. The W. Another W for a DC native. We all kind of hung out and just chilled waiting for his post-match interview.
this tournament to come and watch the And you're now the number two seed coming here to Washington, D.C. Y'all, why did I spot Kevin Durant's yeah, ashy ass from a mile away? Link, sir. Hey, I mean, I guess they're friends, so it's cool, whatever. <laughs> Just kidding. And that concludes day one. I hope you guys like this week's video. Please let me know what you think in the comments and like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.